Okay, James P. Madonna here from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. I'm here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, the sushi bar, the Mongolian barbecue. No, nobody here now. Hard ice cream station, it's all here. All right, now, what am I gonna get? Uh, flounder, uh, with a shrimp in the middle? No, you know what? I'll get some cod filet. Some scrod cod filet. Uh, yeah, see what we got. I hope they have succulent pieces of duck this time. Because these bastards, you know what they do? They, 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 as soon as they bring out the roast duck, they run for it. And they grab all the thick, meaty pieces. So, I can't get any, and I have nothing but skin and bones left, you know? So, seafood, lobster, so... Hey, how you doing, buddy? How are you, Friday, man? Be careful, Corona, Corona. Corona, Corona, ooh. They're, they're building two new hospitals in China now for the Corona. Two, no, 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 I know, I don't have no mask. Oh, somebody took all the shrimp, look, look, look. Son of, Got fettuccine alfredo with shrimp, but I think the bastards took all the shrimp. I'm gonna have to come back. Here we got mixed seafood. What I, I can do is, uh, got mussels, uh, clam, scallops, calamari. You know what I could do? This is what I'm gonna do. I wanna give a shout out to uh, professional wrestler and the uh, the best genie that ever came out of a lamp, Melissa Coates. Give a shout out to her. Um, former competitive bodybuilder. And uh, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some of that shellfish on top of this. Uh, here's my favorite sign. Please do not touch with your hands. I'm gonna put this baked ziti in pink sauce, which is tomato mixed with cream. All right, and then I'm gonna put some some mixed seafood on top. That's the owner talking very loudly. All right. I'm very limited with the size of this plate, you know? Some clams, some scallops, some mussels. have to try to control the amount of liquid because it's going to overflow and then I'm going to get yelled at for dripping on the owner's floor. Got some bay scallops there and uh, North Atlantic mussels. This is my first plate. I want to give a shout out to my buddy uh, Jeff Zambello and my also my friend from um, the hit show on the Travel Channel, Ghost Adventures, Exorcist Bishop Bryan. I want to give a shout out to the both of them, as well as uh, Melissa Coates. Now, all right. Now, how am I gonna? How am I gonna fucking carry this? Hold on. Uh, you know what? I, I better. I better really focus on what I'm doing here. Okay, let's see what we have here. Crab chowder. Always stir the bottom. Always stir the bottom of any soup because gravity makes all the succulent morsels sink to the bottom. So always stir it. You got that, you jabronis out there? Right. Chicken noodle soup? Not for me. That's, that's peasant food. Peasant food. No. Oh. The duck? Forget it. I'm out of luck. I'm out of luck with the duck. Both skin and bones. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Mm. Chicken Creole sauce. Chow mein fun. Rice noodles. I gotta decide what I want here. Attractive work of art. Yeah, I 
like the hardcore sushi. Uh, what we got here? Lamb. Not it. Out more shellfish, some lobster. Hey, I just want to say hi again to Jeff Zambella. All right, now before I decide on that, let me check the other entrees out. Uh, oh, look what's back! Bless their heart, they got shawarma. All right, I'm gonna get some of that. for the very best uh, hot and spicy uh, buffalo chicken wings to go for your next sporting event party. You can come and buy these in bulk and take them home. Uh, Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Please don't touch with your hands. All right. And when you get some of this, let me get a dish. Thank God it's not busy today, but I shouldn't talk too loud. Get some. Got the tzatziki sauce. Get some pita bread. Okay. I'm on a low carb diet program so I don't want too much pita bread and here's uh, got some either beef or lamb shawarma I mean beef or lamb season and uh, looks like it's sauté with onions it's a Cajun way of saying onions you can give me some of these roasted potatoes as long as it's not, as long as it's not the bats, the bats, you know, that that woman made bat soup out of? The coronavirus woman, you know that? Oh. Right from the native land of uh, the super genie. Right, Melissa, super genie? Oh, that was Barbara Eden that said she was from Baghdad. Yeah, right, yeah. Give me a break. Now she's got the uh, the Baghdads under her eyes at uh, 95 years old. Whatever she is. Uh, she still looks great. All right. Let's see what else they got here. Check the salad department. Uh, usually they have good avocado salad. All right. This looks pretty good. Seafood salad. Uh, too many, too many green bell peppers. I'm not a fan. Not exactly a fan of them. Okay, little, little slow action finally because it's a slow afternoon. Uh, the King of Mongolian Barbecue is uh, stir-frying a very small platter of uh, shrimp. Stir-frying it up on the grill. The vapors of Life, Commodore Jeff Zambello. There you go, beautiful. There's one that's already done. I don't know, maybe I'll get one for myself. Okay, I decided to have one made. It's gonna have uh, um, chopped garlic like that he's putting now, and very hot and spicy. I have a uh, shrimp, a lot of mushrooms because I'm a fun guy, and broccoli. Vapors of life are ascending to heaven, Jeff Zambello, Commodore Jeff Zambello, and Exorcist Bishop Brian. There it goes. You can smell the wonderful aroma coming from the smoke. It's good. 
Barbecue, well, being done by the king of Mongolian barbecue. We're talking about this. Uh -huh. Yeah, the people are fishing all the, the good morsels. The uh, the the fruit of the mar. They were taking all the goodies out of there and leaving nothing but liquid. Just just like they take all the shrimp out of the uh, fettuccine alfredo. Okay. Supposed to be fettuccine alfredo with shrimp, you know. Don't crimp the shrimp, like uh, Red Fox said on Sanford and Son. All right, well, mine is probably almost done. All right, look at those vapors of life ascending into heaven, Commodore Jeff Sambello. Got, we got shrimp, broccoli, and mushrooms with a, lo a lot of garlic and hot sauce. Spicy, right? No, we're cooking it in the spicy. Okay. Yeah. Are you like a spicy this? And this? This is extra spicy. Uh, spicy. No, let me have the sriracha. Okay. That one there. What is the, the other one? Habanero? What is that? Uh, Haban yeah. Like habanero? Yeah, oh. not too much Okay, as you can see, it all reduced down to size. I'm just putting some teriyaki sauce. Hot sauce, there we go. Whoa. Gotta love those papers from the Mongolian barbecue. And that's it, it's done. All done for me. All right, folks, they, they finally came in. Green tea ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 when somebody first told me about it years ago, I thought it was, sounded weird, but it's my favorite flavor. You gotta, you gotta check it out. You gotta taste it at least once. Yeah, I know, green tea ice cream is back. I, I, I better not tell the boss, he didn't want, yeah. I tell, every time I tell the, the boss, he, he stops uh, getting it in. Green tea ice cream. Green tea. Finally, after the, the beautiful green tea. 
you use that one for that cream, no? You you like to use your spoon? Nah, this is new spoon. You know why? Because uh. some some of the the, the guys washing their hand in the bathroom, they go shh uh -huh. like that. That's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. But this this cuts it better. Uh -huh. Always look, see the water? Oh, it, it keeps fresh. It keeps fresh. Oh, okay. okay. So I understand. This, this now. I understand. I had, to I had to tell him, you know. He asked me, and I had to tell him green tea ice cream, beautiful. You know how many months I waited for this ice cream? A long time. Like Mount Everest. Beautiful. All right, you know what? That's enough. Take the spoon. And there we go. This is this is a wonderful, wonderful flavor. When I first heard about it, it did not sound good to me. But after I tasted it, I'd say, let me think, back in the 19... Um, I would say the early 1990s or late 1980s is when I first tried it. And uh, I loved it ever since. Green tea ice cream. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.